Generic greetings and welcome back to Production Line. This is a game I featured about a week ago as a preview and a lot of people were interested in it. In fact, the video got a lot of traction, people really wanted to see it again, so we are here to do just that. Today's beverage is... Pineapple juice. I don't even know why I've got pineapple juice. I don't mind it, but I can't ever remember buying it. What I've probably done is I've seen it on the shelf, like a grapefruit juice, and I've reached for the grapefruit juice and just picked up the wrong thing because I was being distracted or something else. So, yeah, but it's quite nice. Anyway, Production Line is a game about a production line, obviously, and specifically a car production line. You have to make said line and make a car, and then you ship it, make money, and then you have to work out uh, essentially making your production line more efficient. What I've done, uh, this is a different save from the one in the last video, and I've went ahead and made a bigger map. As you can see, we're on a much bigger map now. We started off with 3 million as well. I mean, we've currently got over 3 million, but that's because we're making this. Um, but I spent a lot of time just waiting here and doing a bit of research. We've got 9 research stations, and as you can see, we've got a lot of these things researched. So chassis specialization, engine specialization, all of the global efficiency efficiency bonuses like if you go up in say accessory specialization and and do this this stuff here like manufacturing and stuff like that you can drill down into these bits but that only affects just that accessory stuff and also only the accessory stuff on that bit of the line like if you don't have if you're not building that stuff on here you may be just using a, a global one then you're not going to get the bonuses for it whereas these ones these are all just all more robots and faster resource imports just throughout the entire factory. So global bonuses, which I thought was um, a nice thing to do. Because what I want to do in this video is start manufacturing stuff in-house. So, for example, the chassis, we can actually build the axles and build things like that. I mean, this is fuel tank manufacture, but actually it's bugged. It says make flywheel. This is currently the version 1.03. So don't know if that's fixed by the time you actually see this. But either way, uh, the standard disclaimers apply for this one. It's very early on. It's unfinished this place all the stuff yeah yeah yada 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 which is why i um i'm not going to be doing a series on it for a little bit until it's really sort of um fixed up but uh certainly not ruling out and definitely will be doing a series on this at some point just not in its current state because when you've got stuff like that it's really annoying anyway so what we want to do is we'll want to speed up to max speed we're going to keep selling these cars this is a, just a very 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 basic production line uh, so you assemble the chassis you then fit the body you then print uh sorry paint print you paint it you then fit the engine you fit the accessories you do a quality check and then you ship it which is currently the uh generi drive currently making twenty five thousand. hang on um, 25,862 generic units of currency, or dollars, and um, that's a 42% markup, which is quite good. However, we want to build... Oh, there's our research complete. Uh, we want to build probably a lot of stuff in-house, as much as we can anyway. See, that makes roll cage, but we can't really do much there. Uh, no, no, no. We want to go for max power drying. We'll research that one. Okay. So... What we want to do, we want to use pretty much all of this uh, money that we have to build a car as, I wouldn't say as efficiently as possible, but uh, build it in-house as much as we can. But that, that'll that probably cause some issues, but we'll see how it goes. So we'll go for uh, assembling the chassis, but we're going to drill down, and you can see we actually say fuel tank. It doesn't say make fuel tank. It should do, but it's bugged, so I can't make a fuel tank, but I can make the axles. So you can say make axles. It says... Um, uh, f make axle, fit front axle, fit rear axle, fit drive shaft. Now the question is, do I want to make the axles in house? Well, mm, probably not. We probably just want to fit them. I probably want to want to fit them. Making them all in house. Don't know if that's going to work. Uh, the undercarriage. You can see it takes four seconds to make an undercarriage. Um, or to fit the undercarriage, rather. Uh, the fuel tank takes 8 seconds. To fit the axle, it's 13 seconds. So we have to set our baseline. Where do we want to be in terms of our baseline? Well, realistically, you want to go around and say, what is the slowest part? What is the slowest uh, thing in the factory? Well, it's probably painting, to be honest with you. But we need to set a baseline. Can we make, make it so that the slowest station in the entire factory is no more than 20 seconds so to make the chassis it's 20 seconds maximum body 20 seconds paint 20 seconds engine 20 seconds accessories 20 seconds so you're talking a minute nearly less than two minutes to get this thing out the door that's our objective. That's including the time it takes to bring stuff through. Actually, it gives us about 20 seconds to bring that through. Can we do it? 
I don't know because I've never tried it before and also I'm probably going to balls it up. But we'll give it our best shot. So, we need to assemble the chassis. What order it'll be? It'll probably be axles, undercarriage, fuel tank. So, if we go for um, axles first, which is 13 seconds. Okay, so we'll spin this round. And we'll probably put in this far... No, we'll probably put it here. Because you can see there's a lot of resource inputs. So we, and we'll, then we'll spread it across all this factory. And then we'll sort of ship it in maybe this corner here. Doesn't really... Mu doesn't much matter, to be honest with you. So we'll go Bosch. There we go. So that is 50 axles. That is uh, 13 seconds to do that. Undercarriage is 4. Fuel tank is 8. If we have two axles... Um, We'll probably be, well, we'll, you, you essentially half that, but we don't really want to half that. It was six and a half seconds. However, if we put more robot arms on it in 13 and a bit seconds, actually, can we just say buy major robots? 10 seconds. Excellent. That'll do us quite nicely. 10 seconds for that. Undercarriage will be next. And then fuel tank. Right. Will that work? Let's have a quick look. One, two, three. And then we need a resource conveyor, so we'll have a resource importer there, and then we'll have the conveyor which goes um, along there, like so, and that goes into that one, that goes into that one, and then like that. Okay, so normal speed, so it's going to take a little bit of time for this to stream about, but it's going to start filling this up. And that should hopefully make the full chassis. There's more research complete, and we'll go for... Oh, I don't really know. Um, exhaust, radiator manufacture, loads of manufacturing here. Uh, maybe flywheel manufacture, why not? See if we can make a full engine in-house. So, we are making currently the uh, axles, which there we go. This one is making the undercarriage, and you can see all the parts streaming into it. And then, finally, this will... Ah, it's not working. Right, what have I got wrong then? Hmm, undercarriage is built so pause it let's just see what i'm missing out on so over here it goes from uh, we need to wait, we need to wait for the car to stream across hang on i need to know what the tax are uh, the, the the tasks are so this is it's um front axle uh, rear axle front axle yeah front axle rear axle drive shaft and then it goes and fits the undercarriage and then the fuel tank now does is that the sequence this does it in so it is rear axle front axle then it should be drive shaft. Yep. And then it should be undercarriage. And then fuel tank. Yes. So that's fine. So that's done. So maybe it's just not. It's just because we haven't got another conveyor on. I don't know. We'll find out. So. The next thing we need to do is go to fit body, and we can expand that drowning. You see, we've got body frame, we've got uh, doors. So again, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Body frame is 40 seconds, right? Assuming we're going to put a couple of. Mm, that doesn't work out then. That doesn't work out because this entire first section is you're talking 10, uh, 8. 12. You're talking 22 seconds for this first stage. Plus travel. Mm. Alright. What I'm going to do is just shove this down for a second. I just want to see if this um, functions. Does this connect up? If we did that, does it work? Insufficient resources. It will stream in though. If I got a conveyor, will it connect up? Yes, it does. Right. So it is fitting the fuel tank. Right. So that's fine. So we'll get rid of that. We know that that functions. Okay. I'm just making sure that that actually is okay. Although we've got some bits that I really... Oh, we need to get rid of them. Resource import... Uh, resource conveyors. But we can't. We're going to have to do that. Right. So. Back to the chassis. Fuel tank. So. We know that that's okay. We will have to put some bots in this to speed up a bit. So. There's that. There's the chassis. Body. Body frame is 40 seconds. So ideally we want three of. We're not going to drill down. You see it says fit hood and stuff like that. We're not going to do that. So this will be... Hmm. How many... We're flinging one of these off. We're flinging this off the production line every... About 20 odd seconds. 
we can we can cut that down hmm okay body frame two of one there one there okay roof is nine seconds so actually we only need one of these and doors 13 seconds We should be okay there. Right, let's see if this connects up. Alright, there's that. That does connect up and they are they are going. Let's go for another resource importer and we'll put it here. And then we will stream in resources like that. And this one will stream in on a different line. Like so. Okay. So that is all the chassis. That's coming off the line. That's going to go on to both of these. So what is that one waiting for? Is it actually working? It is working. Okay. We will probably go for extra robots and that's taking it down to it's knocked seven seconds off it practically which is very very good to be honest with you i could just do the same thing all along here and just speed the whole thing up for the money it costs you which is very very little just have the, just have the lot as maximum robots this one can have even more for some reason Sunroof. Oh, yes, because you can unlock different uh, parts and stuff. But we're not doing any luxury things like that. So where's the bottleneck going to be? This is where you... You will always have a bottleneck. You'll never truly have it. Um, I think there is a term for it where the production line will never stop. It's slowly moving and the car will have a, like a constant state. I don't know what that term is. Um, but either way, we're not going to have that. Very much doubt we'll have that. But why are these not are they are? Oh they are. They are creating it. She's taking ages for the frame. Mm. Question is. Yeah, why are they not coming off the line? Are they waiting for resources? Or well I know that one's not connected up, so I'll I'll fix that. That one is connected up though. It's just not just it's just it's just working. It's just the robots aren't going for some reason. The robots are bugged, I think. They're not actually working. Yeah, look, that's weird. Right. Probably because he upgraded it halfway through or something like that. But the lights are flashing, so that is working. Right. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So we've now got the body. Paint. This is going to take a while. So you've got undercoat, you've got drying it, which takes a long time. Finish it, and then uh, dry the finish. Let me just click on the paint machine here. So, yeah, it's only four steps. So it is literally that step there. So paint undercoat is... How do I want it? Do I want to turn this round? Do I want to bring it this way? It might be best taking it down here. I wish I moved the entire production line to the right now, but whatever. Right, so it'll come off that line. And the paint undercoat is only seven seconds. So we can paint this undercoat, no problem whatsoever. So we'll paint it like so. It's drying is the slow part. So you'll paint it dry 24 seconds. Well, we want at least two of these. One and two. Then you finish paint. Probably mm. come along. Do we should I rotate these round? Do I just bring it straight down there? It's probably best, yeah. Get rid of those. Paint undercoat. Spin it round. So it goes there. And then you want dry. One there. And one there. Okay, then you finish it. And then you dry it. Dry is 28 seconds. Hmm. Two of. 
like that. Right, let's connect all of these up. And see what this is like. And this will again split off into each of these. Have to pause it for a second while we go to resource conveyor and sort out the basic resources for it, which we could bring from over there, actually. But it's quite a distance away. I think it's going to be this one. So it'll be along, and across, and then like that. This one is similar. We'll just bring it straight across there. So let's just see what happens here. So that's going to take almost no time at all. 7.9 seconds. This one, however, drying, drying, and drying. We've got it down 18 seconds on a dry. That's okay. So you're talking 18, 26-ish, 26, uh, 30, plus this one. You know what? Painting the whole thing is... It's, it's about 40 seconds odd, I think. When this one does take 28... Uh, sorry, 68. It's actually a long time then. Uh, we've got a problem with the resource flow, which I knew we'd probably have. So it might be best if I got a resource conveyor, put one in like so, cancel those, and then have a resource importer there. Okay. So those are supplied separately. Well... It says these cars are waiting here. It's just insufficient resources, that's all it is. Hmm. Oops, that was wrong. There we go. Right, that's streaming off okay. There's the new dryers look. <laughs> just big fans. And the fumes go everywhere. Um, so they're streaming along. That's okay. Yeah, it's just a resource issue now. It's just taking a while for the resources to fly along. Especially this. Fitting the doors and windows is a bit of a nightmare for the for the line. What I might do then is go for another resource importer. I mean, we've got them all over here, so we might as well. I'll wait for this stream to go along, and then I will cancel that. And cancel that. Connect that back up to the conveyor. Connect that up to the conveyor. There we go. So that's got its own separate stream. There we go. We've got a lot of stuff coming on, like coming through here. All right. So there's the paint. So the paint should be done now. We should be completely done on the paint. Yeah, all the cars are nice and colourful. So engine. So we got uh, fit engine assembly, fit uh, radiator, things like that. Oh god, look, you can fit the flywheels and stuff. Like the question is, do I want to make the flywheel and then fit it and then other stuff, or do I just want to go for like the engine assembly, radiator, other stuff like that? Like just the engine itself is 55 seconds. Mm, I can't make a radiator yet. Hey, what, what's my research? I was going to say, what's my research? And it's just done. Uh, valve manufacture. We've got all sorts of stuff. There's radiator manufacture. See, if we make if we make it separately, we'll have to... We will have to... Um, do all of this separately, like... Engine, radiator, exhaust. I think we will fit the engine assembly se like separately. I think we w we're not going to just use fit engine because we're trying to break it down. So, fit engine assembly. Mm. Don't know the best way to go about this is. So that's 18 seconds. 18 See, that's a bit of a false economy because we're not getting cars off the line. As fast as I would like. Actually, are we? That's about 15 seconds. Seven on that one. The slowest part so far is... I 
think it's that. That's 10 seconds. That's 3. That's 6. That's 33, but we've got 2 of, so call it 15 seconds. That's 7. That's 11. 18, but we've got 2 of. And that's 21, so that's about 10. So the slowest part, I believe, is here. Fitting the body frame, which is about 16 seconds in total, because you've got two of them. So as long as none of this takes longer than that, we'll be okay. So we'll go for, there's the engine assembly. Assuming my maths ain't wrong, which it probably is, and it probably balls this right up. That's the thing about doing a game like this. Um, is that, you know, it's a game, it's a, it's a game pretty much about sitting there and going, hmm, how can I do this, this, and this, and then spending ages thinking about it, uh, looking at the metrics, and then changing things around and stuff, whereas, uh, doing it on the fly, not entirely, not entirely, uh, fast, nor, uh, very efficient. What I want to do is go to, um, fit radiator, but I'll actually make the radiator first, which we should almost be close to researching. Oh, we're nowhere near close to researching that. And what I'll do is I will, um, I will stream the resources in for now, like that, but I will, let, I will change it later on so we can actually uh, uh, build it. So that was the was that the exhaust? That's the exhaust. Wheel assembly is 13 seconds, so we only need one. Steering assembly is 14 seconds, so it's getting a bit slower, but we're about right. The problem is no stockpile, and it is really far away from the, like a closer stockpile. What we need to do is buy this part, actually. We need to buy this, and then uh, stream it around there, ideally. Because this is getting really problematic now. It's always this that's running out of resources as well. I don't know why. Insufficient resources. No flywheel. This is overloaded, this one. So what I'm going to do is connect up the conveyors like so. And maybe that will resolve it. Because you'll order from two parts. And... What I'll do is I'll connect those two up and run it all the way to that one. And then once I've got this bought out, we should be able, should be able to um, like connect it back up to this part. Who knows? Who knows? Right, so that is our steering assembly and that should actually be the entire engine. Accessories is 27 seconds. Again, we can drill down to that. But I honestly, for the speed, I think just two of them is fine. Just having two accessories like that is okay. The reason you wouldn't want to just use loads of these is because you want, you know, you want to make it more efficient. Like you, you can do, you can have more upgrades if you, uh, oh, we've got a problem. Because that's next to that one. It's not doing this connection properly. Yeah, that's weird. It's not connecting up properly. Oh, there we go. It's fine. Is that connected up as well? So that's the bottleneck. It's always insufficient resources as well. It's because it's a lot of panels, you see. See, these are coming along. See, these have all been waiting for ages. Could we have another fit panels, do you reckon? Fit doors. Fit doors, do you reckon? See, half of its time, though, is waiting for resources. Hmm. Okay, let's have a quick look. Body, fit doors. There's another one. Resources are connected. Conveyor. There we go. Let's see if that fixes it. Research complete radiators. Uh, I'll go for... Where is it? Buying land. 
Where is it? Where is it? Have I already researched it? Factory expansion, that's it, of course. Don't even know if that's in yet, but I'm uh, going to get it. Right, uh, so we need to fix that line there. That is now fixed. That will come along here. Um, we've also now got engine parts. Uh, radiators, rather. Make radiator. Which I've never, I've never actually built. But let's go for make radiator. So apparently you just essentially connect up like it'll be that radiator. We'll buy... We'll have to actually cancel some of this here. Um, fit the radiator there. But that says no resources. But what we do is we say... That's a stockpile. And we have to go across here, you see. And there's that connected up. This part will go over to... There. Ah, look, it's totally messed. It's all its all over the place. As soon as that's connected to something else, I don't know if we're actually going to manufacture it. Oh, no, there you go. Look, we're manufacturing a radiator. Look at that there. So it is actually manufacturing the radiators. But then, because it's connected to the old... Because it's connected to this, it's actually streaming it in now anyway. So... All this does is give you finer control. That's all it really does. Which is useful, obviously, but... You know. Anyway, where are we? We are on... Oh god, that's really sped the production line up. Look at that. Oh, backlog is now in the body frame. Right, fine. So, we are... We'll fit the accessories. Fit electronics we don't need to. It's just a quality check, really. And the quality check is 10 seconds. And this are... Yeah, that's about right. Quality check is there. And then an export, really. That technically should be it. Will this work? Well, it will work. Whether or not it's efficient or not is a completely different matter. And there we go. That should be a car ready to ship. I don't know why that one isn't going down this side. For accessories, you see, it's not moving along. This one isn't moving down here. Maybe because I've only just connected up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. So, because we haven't got any real metrics about where the backlog is, I don't really know what I can do there. This is definitely this is definitely not moving along to this. Is there a problem in connection somewhere? Hmm. Does seem to be connected up. It's just non-streaming this way. Maybe if I get rid of that and these. It, I think it's this look because it's so near. So it's so near this one. There might be an issue there. So what I'll do, uh, just to make sure, is I'll cancel a lot of this. And have uh, accessories again. Just a little bit further forward. Like so. And that will still give me the connections that I need. Like that. And then that can go into there. Then this one can come out along and into there. Yeah, there you go, look. It's streaming. I think it's because it was next to that one it might have caused an issue, but eh, who knows. Could just be a random glitch. Right. So, this one wants to connect up to there. Alright, here we are. So, where's the backlog now? Well, these are streaming okay. These ones are waiting quite a bit for the uh, engine. Let's get ourselves some more robots. That takes that down to 12 seconds. Hmm. The question is whether or not cars are coming off this faster than this. And honestly, I just don't know. I just don't know. This should be. This should be, but the problem is that there's so many factors involved, and I don't have any, like, metrics to work with. I don't have any um, statistics saying, yep, that's definitely faster, blah, 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 this is definitely working. It's just a guess, and, like, look, just, like, how many are coming off the line. The problem is the um, insufficient resources. That will 
that will cause us issues. That'll slow the line up. I mean, there's cars streaming off here. I mean, that's is that the third one to this this one? Well, we'll max speed it and we'll just sort of... There's one, right, so that one's just gone out. So, so one for the top one. Two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> two. Six. Yeah, okay. So this is definitely faster. <laughs> I'm sure it's faster. So we uh, can see this car here. We'll do it again. We'll see if that's about right. It's all about the what, what's coming off the line. So there's research complete. Uh, so that one, look, there's a car just on the export and just on the export, okay? So there's our baseline. So, no research, hang on. Let me just get rid of it so we can actually, uh, it doesn't really matter, research a horn. Make it louder, louder. So we're both on one, okay? Both of these are on one because they've both just left. Bottom one's on two, three, <laughs> four, <laughs> and that one's on two, five. Okay, so this bottom one is twice as fast, 60% maybe, yeah, probably. Where's the bottleneck? Um, it's certainly here. For the body frame. So how about then fit body frame there? And that. Okay. We'll also expand into there. Expand into there. And we'll have a resource import of that. And then that part to connect that up there. So hopefully we'll have stuff streaming faster. I don't know if that is going to be the case. But what we'll do is we'll remove that. Because we might be getting false readings, right? This, because this was sharing... Because this was sharing resources with this factory and this has got more parts. Um, this... Oh no, it won't have more parts. It will have about the same amount of parts, actually. But this might be... Uh, its resource might be being bled off by this one. So, these ones are in. These are working. What we'll do is we'll just buy better robots. There we are. So they're streaming off. How? What's the speed of that? Seven seconds. And these are 33. And that's about 11 seconds then. Okay, so that should still be the... That should be fine. 11 seconds to produce them. That's about 6 seconds because there's two of them. Oh yeah, you can see the bottlenecks uh, further forward now. <laughs> this is about right. But yeah, look at the cars coming off the line now. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, that, that's, that's sort of working. This is in no export room because it's actually full of radiators now. Hmm. Well, that is a bit more production line. I, um, God, look at all the undercoat cars. <laughs> Loads of them. It's interesting to see just how effective uh, it is breaking stuff down. Obviously, you get finer control. Not so much. You have to space it out, though. You need a really big area because when these things connect up, you get other resource problems and stuff. But you can see just by a couple of tweaks, we've got this really pumping out cars now. In terms of money as well, we are, well, we were down to one point. Uh, what was it? 1.5 million. And we're now up to 1.8 million. And that's after buying all of this and these extra bits of land there. So, I mean, let's have a quick look at our... Uh, profit is go was going right down there. But income is... Hmm, it's actually tailing off here. When it goes on the next uh, day... Oh, God, that's all going down. Ah, why is profit going down? Well, I'm not selling enough cars. Is that what it is? I might not be selling the cars. Because it doesn't matter how many cars you make, even if they're good, uh, if they're not selling, then guess what? <laughs> it uh, means you weren't going to do very well. Anyway, that is a bit more production line. 
like I say, I, I want to feature more of this and probably will do, but um, in terms of doing like a series or something, which I know a lot of people called for, uh, yes, but mm, we'll wait to see. It has to be the right time, you know. When, when you've got things like, um, just, for example, that uh, that bit there where you're trying to make um, fuel tanks and it actually says flywheel and stuff, and there's other bugs like that. I'm sure that will be fixed like pretty much immediately. In fact, it might be fixed by the time you're watching this, but it's just um, stuff like that. I don't want to be changing over to new builds and they not work and have major changes and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But either way, production line. Keep an eye on it because, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be good. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. That's not a bad beverage, actually.